Yeast issues are a very common problem in my clinic. And how do children even get yeast? Well, yeast lives in all of us. It's under our arms, it's in the groin, it's on our feet, and it's an opportunistic organism. That means it's always on us, but our immune system keeps it in check. And that's okay, it's not bothersome. But when it grows, when it becomes a predominant culture, a predominant organism, it can wreak havoc with our children. So children who have been exposed to multiple antibiotics, say for recurrent ear infections, sinus infections, lung infections, constant uh, exposure to antibiotics change what grows in our, in our GI tract, and those natural protective mechanisms that keep yeast under control are wiped out, and the yeast will flare. Children with uh, excessive yeast growth typically demonstrate very strange behaviors, giddy, laughing, laughing in the middle of the night, hanging upside down, wanting to jump on their knees, you know, drop from a, from a couch or a desk onto their kneecaps on the floor. Uh, they can be crying, they can be irritable, they can just, just a mess. So what do we do? Well, we can culture the stool and see if there's a, a yeast issue. I mean, this is all laboratory things. And uh, then we put them on an antifungal. And uh, we've been using antifungals in, in children for, for many years now, and they're very safe. And then you look for a clinical response, okay? You look to see if the child stops laughing in the middle of the night, able to sleep the whole night, no longer trying to run away, elope, drop to his knees. Uh, and then the child improves. The problem, though, is if we don't fix what's going on in the internal environment that allowed the yeast to grow, very often it recurs. And that's very frustrating for parents. They'll say, why can't you kill this yeast? And I say, well, it's part of all of us. His own or her own immune system has to keep it under check. And we can do several things to help that, such as give them natural uh, antibiotics, natural things to keep yeast from growing, and of course probiotics to help uh, crowd out the living environment and make it a very hostile environment for yeast to grow.